Welcome to the now closed Fisher Foods in North Canton, Ohio. Fisher Foods has been around since 1933 and prides itself on being a local family owned business and is the only local grocery store chain in all of Stark County. I managed to check out this awesome grocery store during a public auction day. This is the very first one I've ever been to. Griffin has been to many of these and he said it's a really good way to get to see defunct stores or just go in places that you normally can't go in while the store is fully open and operational. And I would agree it was just awesome to get to go to every little tiny space inside of this store and just see all the equipment left behind. Like right now you're looking at the uh, the optometrist, all the equipment and everything. It's just awesome walking around here. This is cool. Mm -hmm. All these green tags are what's actually for sale. Yeah. They sell everything. These auctions. Anything wow, this is amazing. Sell. See if we if you see anything Fisher's Market or something mm -hmm. retail related pointed out. I'm taking a look. Oh, look at that. There was a Fisher's like soap dispenser. In the oh my, room. whoa. See all the mugs. That Panasonic thing. Oh yeah, that is cool. Oh, wow. While putting together this video, I realized this is the very first grocery store that I've ever seen with a full-on eye doctor, or do you call this an optometrist? I know there's differences between the two, but just really cool to see a whole entire, like, doctor's office in here, essentially. I mean, you know, it's an eye doctor, but whatever. And you can see here is the store plan, uh, so you can get a kind of an idea of the layout of the place. I don't know, who knows, I might look at some of the pictures later and go, oh, that. Yeah, maybe. If you're thinking to yourself, whoa, this entrance, that's just awesome. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing when I entered in. Most stores, you just sort of enter into them and it's like, eh, whatever. But not at this one. Well, let's head into the main store and see what's left behind. So beneath these rows of lights you can see on the left side, that's where all the checkouts would have been. And I wish they were still there, you know, with all the checkout lights and everything, because it would have given me an idea as to what the store looked like at the front end, but unfortunately they're gone. Also, pay close attention to all the signs and just the general aesthetics of this place because they're pretty great. Yeah, I was scratching my head too. I don't know what all of this expired food is doing over here on like a sale shelf. I don't know, kind of puzzling, but this is my very favorite part of the store. Just look at the aesthetics of this area. It's just amazing. And, you know, an open store, they're all pretty much the same. They all have this kind of general design, but this one was just over the top, even more so than some of the others I visited in the area. Now we're going to head into the back where only the employees would have been allowed. 
this area is really awesome because it's like a giant hallway that interconnects the entire store in kind of a U shape. So what I mean is you can get to the deli from back here, the meat department, the cafe, and it just allows you to pop out onto the sales floor in multiple locations. This display was really awesome to see. I guess you would have put product on top of it. I would have loved to have this, but it was just way too big to transport home and I didn't have anywhere to put it. Fishers. What was this? Was this like a prize grab or That's something? It yes, it is. It's this is one of those, I think this is one of those things where you stand in it and they blow stuff around and you catch it. Like, remember the money things? Yeah. yeah. Why would that be a thing? I don't. I wanted to go over the history of this store so you could learn a little bit about it. But in doing my research, the only Fisher Foods that I could come across that had any history was the Fisher Foods out of Cleveland, Ohio. And I'm not sure that these are the same because it says that this Fisher Foods later became Fazio's and it became defunct in 1997. But clearly, this Fisher's chain is still around. And it also says that the successor to this Fisher's version, um, not the one we're looking at now, but the one out of Cleveland, Ohio, that its successor was Giant Eagle. So I'm really kind of confused. like look at those i did manage to score one of these signs and it's now preserved in my retail museum now this was really cool to get to see when the store actually opened whoever put this on the wall a big thank you for that because without this we might not have known when the store actually opened Yeah, this store had been closed for quite some time prior to this auction, so that food was way long expired. And plus, those freezers weren't even on. You, if you just have to win it. Uh huh. Oh yeah, I know. I know what you mean. 
Yeah, you'd have to have the supplies. Yeah, to get it back home, it wouldn't be worth it. And what would I do with it? Exactly. What are you gonna? Oh, look, Fisher's Foods, Brooklyn stop. Yep, I saw that. That's cool. Yep. Did you see the whole like handwritten like sign there? Holy wow! Look at that giant Fisher sign. Yeah, that's from like the one out by the road. Oops, I'm like falling down. That is so cool. Yeah, there you go. Oh wow, here's like the buffet thing. See this sign? What? What sign? Oh wow, that is really cool, but it's too big. Yeah, it's kind of dusty. One thing I can say for certain is that most grocery stores don't have cooking schools in them. The only one I've ever come across was Jungle Gyms, but then that's kind of a thing of its own. That's like the grocery store to beat all grocery stores. This is just sort of your normal grocery store, but here it is, a cooking school. So let's go inside and take a look. Those are nice ovens, Gen Air ovens. Those are expensive. Yeah. I'm sure that's going to sell like... Hey, you need a new VCR? There you go. Honestly, wait. Yes. Yep, I saw that. <laughs> Can't get rid of all the glare, but I could try and like. Yeah, it doesn't help. Nah.
If you'd like to see what a fully operational and open Fisher's Foods looks like, I recently did an episode and it can be found over on my Patreon page. Links are in the description box below and on screen. Thanks for coming along to check out this now defunct Fisher Foods in North Canton, Ohio. I do content just like this each and every week. So if you like the things I'm doing here, then why not become a subscriber? Click the bell icon so you'll get notified about future videos. That's going to do it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one.